too close to it. Look at that. Yeah, I would say that's a dead turkey right there. Uh, 45 yards, over 100 pellets in the head and neck, uh, and even some down in the vitals down here, a little bit lower. But yeah, I'd say that's a that's a pretty uh, pretty dead turkey right there. But a good shot. Uh, yesterday we went out and shot and sighted in our brand new gun for 2023 uh, turkey season. I'm going to share that gun with you today and announce officially that Dell Outdoors is now sponsored and on the pro staff of Stoger Shotguns. That's right, Stoger has uh, come on board with us and they believe in what we're doing and passing the knowledge teaching others how to be better turkey hunters and we uh, got uh, acquainted and uh, so they wanted to come on board so now we they are the official shotguns actually of Dell Outdoors which is a good thing because nothing changes because everybody knows I've been a fan of Stoker for a lot of years I hunted with the M3000 for several years and shot a lot of turkeys with it and then two years ago I switched over to the 20 gauge and uh, this will be my third season with it I really enjoy this gun it's so light and just such a great shooting little gun and now with these impressive TSS uh, Apex loads they are just phenomenal at what they can do I mean that's the, the 20 gauge is the new king of turkey guns uh, and I, I tell you I just I really love this gun but with all that said there is a lot of new features uh, on this gun that wasn't available even last year or the years prior they've really updated this gun so much better and I was so impressed when I saw this gun and and handled it I could just tell a big difference in my gun previously from last year and this gun here I could just tell a world of difference and I said man what did y'all do to this gun to make it better so we're going to share some of them features with you today and uh, you go out and check one out at your local Stoger dealer and you're going to see what I'm talking about one of the first things I noticed when I shouldered this 2023 gun was how much it felt like an expensive two thousand dollar shotgun I mean, it just, it really did. I mean, I've shot some very expensive shotguns, and this one, uh, I, I'm serious, and I'm not just saying this just to sound good. I mean, it impressed me at the feel. The one thing they did uh, this year with the 2023 is they shortened this down. They, they It were, was a little bit uh, of a, a pretty good grip around there and fat. They've actually slimmed this neck down to where you get that real, when you shoulder this, you can really tell a difference. It, you, you can really feel it right up in here from the older model. Another feature that I really liked was this new bolt. I mean they have really come out with a lot better bolt. It's a lot larger than the other one on the other the other gun, the past models. This one with gloves you can just reach up and find it really easy. I like a bigger bolt. That was the one thing about the older models I really didn't care for was it was such a small bolt. But when you got gloves on or maybe you're not just looking, uh, you can find this real easy. Pull it back and lock it right into position. It really just helps make it feel so much better in your hand. Another feature that I absolutely love is the larger button, this release button. I mean, this button is really great. It's really easy to find. That was another feature about the older models I really didn't care for was that little bitty button they had. This is actually a lot bigger and so much easier to find really quick when you need to. So that's just, that, again, that just is one of the features that the older ones didn't have that just makes this gun a little bit better than it already was. Something else I noticed about this gun right from the start was the cheek piece. I love this cheek cushion. Uh, this is a feature you'll find on a lot of expensive shotguns. They have actually uh, put a nice cheek piece here, cushion, that when you shoulder this gun, you're really going to feel that and it's just going to make it so much a uh, better uh, feel to this shotgun it makes it feel like a two thousand dollar shotgun so i love this cheap piece right here that they put 
Uh, also with the new recoil pad, you can actually uh, customize this recoil pad to your fitting. And so uh, they've really made it a lot better, a lot thicker. Even though a 20 gauge don't have a lot of punch for a young kid or maybe someone just starting out, a lady that uh, is a little bit recoil sensitive as far as kids and maybe uh, someone uh, and a lady or something that don't like that recoil, this pad is going to take a lot of that out. So I really like that new recoil pad as well. There's just so many great features that I like about this and they just took a good gun and made it better. And the gun as always just shoots like a dream. It really does. Uh, so if you can't afford a you know fifteen hundred two thousand three thousand dollar shotgun, you ought to go to your local Stoger dealer and take a look at one of these because now this twenty twenty three model just feels like an expensive gun, half the price, and shoots just like a dream. It really does. Well, kill a turkey, no problem. Uh, you can see behind me a lot of these turkeys here on these in these pictures uh, met their demise because of the the older model of one of these. So imagine what this one's going to do, and we're going to be trying it out this weekend in Georgia and then in Alabama and then just all over the place. I'm also going to be shooting the uh, 3500 turkey gun, uh, the pistol grip turkey gun, uh, 24 inch barrel. I'm on, it's actually in the gun shop right now. I'm getting a trigger job on it just because I'm very picky when it comes to triggers. You know, some of you don't care. That's fine. I'm just very picky. So it, the trigger's getting worked on. But as soon as I get back from um, Alabama, I'm going to pick it up and I'll probably be hunting with 12 gauge 3500 just to show you the option of what Stoger has out there if you're still a big fan of 12 gauges. I mean 12 gauges work great. I'm looking forward to hunting with it and just seeing kind of you know how it performs. We're going to be doing a video of sighting it in and the features on it also so be looking for that video also in the next coming days. But uh, so far I'm just so impressed with this gun. This is this will be the gun that we primarily hunt with of course because this is just my favorite gun and it's just so light. I mean the, the, the weight is absolutely nothing even with this scope now it does uh, or it doesn't come with a drilled and tapped uh, this I actually had a gunsmith now make sure that a gunsmith does this don't do it yourself but I, I went and had this uh, drilled and tapped and he got it back to me the next day and I put a rail and a scope on it this is the Conus one by five by 32 pro the Conus pro that I've been shooting the last uh, couple of years I really like this scope it's got the diamond reticle turkey uh, reticle in it uh, and it just you know if that turkey Turkey is over 40 yards, then his head will not feel that diamond. If he's under 40, his head will feel that diamond. It's, you know, just kind of helps you with range a little bit, but even with these TSS lows, you really a lot of times don't need that. But I just like this scope because it's got real good eye relief and it really uh, it really does well for me. Uh, so that's the Conus Pro. Also, I topped it with a Carlson uh, Steel the 5 um, 68 choke. And uh, Carlson doesn't sponsor us, neither the Conus, but this is just what I use because I like it. And, uh, you know, they, they really perform great. Just like in the last gun, they performed great in, in this gun. And I can't, you know, and I don't have to tell you about the Apex Ninja uh, eight and a half shot. I mean, just phenomenal load. I mean, just unbelievable at what it can do uh, at 45, 50 yards. I mean, if I wanted to shoot 50, which I don't, uh, you know, you could see 100 shots, uh, over 100 shots in the head and neck. Absolutely would devastate at 50 also, but uh, I like to get them under 40 and, and under. Uh, that's the name of the game in my opinion. But if you do have to take a long shot sometimes, uh, you have no problem with a good setup with them Apex um, loads. But anyway, this is the new and improved M3020 from Stoger and like I said they are now officially uh, a sponsor for us but even if they wasn't I'd still be shooting this gun I promise because I just love this gun so check them out at your local Stoger dealer and I know you'll be uh, really pleased with this gun like I said it's half the price of a lot of your more expensive guns, but you still get that great performance of an inertia gun. So check them out at your local Stoger dealer, and we'll be seeing you very soon in Georgia chasing an old Longbeard with the M3020.